I'm a Mato Fado Gentleman I'm a well, hey guys, what is up? I'm of course the only one glitcher bringing you fellow Minus and Crafters another Super Awesome Minecraft episode. And in today's episode, guys, I'm gonna be going over 100 facts which you may not have known about Minecraft. And this is part two, guys, and there will be four parts. Um, so basically, I do 25 facts in each video. Uh, but anyway, guys, if you do go on to enjoy the video, be sure to smash that like button as it does let me know that you did enjoy the video and you liked it in general. And be sure to subscribe if you're new for your chance to see the latest daily on your homepage of the Minecraft. GTA 5 and on Wednesdays FIFA 15 content and with that being said guys let's get started so the first fact we have today guys is you can fish underwater this is pretty cool guys because if you don't want someone to notice you uh, and you have to plug in on PC uh, you can actually kill them and then quickly pull them back so like you could attack them underwater and they wouldn't realize that you're underwater they'd think they're behind you so that has some core advantages to it but anyway jumping in right to the next fact you have a higher chance of catching fish whilst it is raining which is awesome because if you're a person which likes rain and you like fishing well then you have a massive advantage there but I hate rain and the mo majority, a small minority of people might like rain uh, but the majority of Minecraft players hate rain which is why uh, the commands were added to toggle the downfall and get rid of rain uh, but anyway guys, moving on to the next fact we have there is a 1 in 100 chance that a spider jockey will spawn in your world if you don't know what a spider jockey is it's basically a spider with a skeleton on top and uh, it attacks you and the skeletons can fire arrows at you whilst uh, the um, spider uh, attacks you also there's also a pocket edition exclusive where there is a cave spider jockey uh, so it's the same thing just with a cave spider rather than a regular spider but anyway guys moving on to the next fact a really good horse can move one meter uh, per second um, and also a really good horse can also um, jump five blocks high. I did actually make a mistake guys, it's not a meter, that would just be terrible but a good horse can travel four meters per second. You can alter and change which rail connects to which rail by using a lever. So guys, moving swiftly on to the next fact, which is you can sleep during a thunderstorm. This is great because if you hate thunder and you hate rain, it allows you to get rid of thunder and rain and sleep because then it'd be the next day, it'd be nice, bright and sunny rather than horrible, stormy and cloudy. Uh, but anyway guys, jumping into the next fact, both night and day are both each 20 minutes long. This is great because uh, it's equal rather than having, you know, night longer or day longer, it's equal so then it's fair and balanced um, rather than it being unequal which is slightly annoying um, but anyway guys moving on to the next fact cobblestone takes longer to mine by a few seconds than ordinary usual stone next fact we have guys is grass blocks take longer to break or mine than dirt which is similar to the cobblestone one but yes yeah, still same thing um, anyway guys jumping into the next fact we have which is Although the ruby gem is in the game files, Notch ever, never introduced it because he thought people would get it too mixed up and confused with the redstone or or um, the gem also mixed up with the redstone dust, um, which is kind of understandable, uh, but it's kind of a shame because it would be a great feature to have in the game. Uh, but anyway guys, hopping on to the next fact. Mobs which can glow in the dark, such as the Enderman, Blaze, Magma Cube, Cave Spider, or Usual Spider will be visible even if you throw a splash potion of invincibility at them. This is because the part that glows in the dark is still visible um, and Notch liked this feature so he decided to keep it and implement it into the game. Moving on to the next fact guys, we have the Golden Carrot is the best food source in the game because it gives you... Um, three or yeah sometimes even four bars of hunger um when, when you eat it and it also uh gives you a lot of nutrition and it's just the best it gives you um like 
kind of uh, perks in a way and things like that as well because it gives you, uh, sometimes it gives you like um, speed and things like that. It can also give you fire resistance, resistance um, and lots of cool stuff like it can give you uh, regeneration and things like that it's awesome for that and that is why I decided to include that in today's video but swiftly moving on to the next feature we have if you stand inside of a snow golem you can see its actual face because it has two faces one on the inside of its body and one on the outside which is kind of strange but it's also a cool fact anyway guys moving on the zombie and the skeleton are the only two undead mobs in the game and moving on to the next fact, we have zombies can see you from 44 blocks away, whilst all the other mobs in the game, every single other mob can only see you from 16 blocks away, which is a whole chunk. Redstone can still travel through carpets or one half slab. Anyway guys, jumping into the next fact we have, which is, uh, if you um, want to see what a creeper's vision looks like you have to go into spectator mode and you left click on the creeper and then you can see what his uh, kind of you can interpret what he uh, sees when he looks um, at the minecraft world and all the other mobs and characters in the game which is pretty cool. Um, anyway guys moving on to the next fact you can access the top of the nether by, if you're on survival, you place a ladder on the uh, high block you can get to because you reach a bedrock. You, this does require ender pearls, but basically, you in between uh, where the top block meets the bottom of the top block and the ladder uh, directly where they meet, you want to throw ender pearls up there. It may take about three to five ender pearls, and it does take away some of your life, but it'll be worth it eventually because it's a pretty cool uh, feature. And there is another portal up there, so you can get back out there never safely, also. Um, and it's great if you want to build a house up there or something like that, that can be fun. Um, and it's a pretty cool fact which I thought was worth uh, commenting on but anyway guys moving on to the next fact if you set cows or pigs on fire they will drop cooked food variants such as cooked pork chop uh, cooked steak um, and I think that's it um, but anyway guys jumping into the next fact um, if you punch a sheep seven times and then shear it it will give you zero no sorry one to four blocks of wall rather than zero to three blocks of wall which is pretty cool and it allows you to get more wall more efficiently and legitimately rather than uh you know barely getting any or getting two or uh so you want to make a bed um rather than getting uh three blocks you will only get two or uh one um, which is not very fair and fun at all um but anyway guys hopping into the next fact we have although the ender dragon has no use now because once you defeat it you can't use it spawn egg to actually spawn it in a regular world it will in the near future anyway guys moving on to the next fact you can dye dogs collars and leather armor by using the colored dye of your choice you press square or on xbox um you press X on the uh, controller and then from there you are then able to um, dye the armour or uh, the dog colour to the ch colour of your choice. Anyway guys, jumping into the next fact, we have... You can make lava or water float by placing signs, fence gates, um, ladders or um, fence posts below them um, and then from there you can use this to make secret base entrances obviously uh, if you want uh, to make a secret base entrance don't use um, fence gates unless they're open or um, fences you you wouldn't want to use fences because you won't be able to get through it uh yeah guys um anyway moving into the next fact we have the horse in minecraft is the fastest way to transport and is the best way of transportation in the game of minecraft it's the only way uh you can move efficiently and it's actually faster than a minecart which is pretty cool uh and it's rather odd because you wouldn't really think that uh but anyway guys moving on to the next fact 
if you are on a pig and you put a Santa on it, then you uh, splash the splash potion of po uh, splash potion of uh, of oh my god, I forgot what it's called. Um, the splash potion of um, swiftness. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Um, and then combine that with a carrot on a stick. You can move eight meters per second rather than four meters per second, which is pretty cool uh, fact. And allows you to move much faster in Minecraft if you aren't able to uh, access a horse or a minecart. Uh, that's great for doing things like that. Um, anyway, guys, jumping into the next fact. Spiders, zombies and wolves are the only mobs in the game which can see you through opaque blob blocks. No other mob in the game is able to do this as they don't have the power or, uh, like, like mine to do this i'm not quite sure why it is it's just a pretty cool uh feature in addition to the game um but no other mob can, is able to access this or do this which is pretty interest interesting uh anyway guys jumping into the last and final fact for today's video which is if there is one mob on an island or uh wherever um there will always be another mob win it with it um there will usually spawn um about uh, one to three of the mob, uh, sometimes one to two, but there will always be more than one mob uh, or type of mob. Um, so, say if there's one sheep, there would be there would have to be two sheep. There wouldn't be one sheep on its own. That is an, an impossible thing to do, and it's not actually accessible in the game of Minecraft. Um, unless, of course, you did some form of glitch. Um, but I'm pretty sure you can't do it. I have tried several, several times. And other YouTubers will tell you this isn't possible also. Um, but anyway, guys, that about wraps up today's video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, be sure to smash that like button. Let's try and hit 20 likes on this video. That'd be much appreciated. And if you did enjoy it, uh, you can check out my Twitter and Twitch page. Um, my Twitch is only one glitch with a capital O. There's an underscore in between only one and glitcher. Also, my Twitter is at only one glitcher. And these are free. That'd be much appreciated if you check out um, both of those sites. Um, also guys if you subscribe you'll see a video like this daily on your homepage. I do Minecraft, GTA 5, FIFA 15 and of course returning in November we'll have Call of Duty content. Um, but with that being said guys my name has of course been the only one glitcher. Have a lovely day guys and I'll catch you next time. Bye.